Good morning, class. How are you today? Um, class, listen carefully and focus on our lesson so that you have something to learn. Alright? What we are going to study today is all about um, commercial cooking. Ayan. In order for us to cook no, different kinds of delicious foods, um, we need to learn the proper use of different tools, utensils, and equipment used in the kitchen. Ayan. For today's lesson, we will talk about the use and maintain kitchen tools and equipment. When it comes in cooking, any cook should be familiar with the correct tools, utensils, and equipment in the kitchen. Bilang isang individual, no, kailangan natin kilalanin. Kailangan natin matutunan kung paano um, gamitin ng tama yung mga kitchen utensils, yung mga tools um, pagdating sa pagluluto. Ayan, it's important to consider several um, things, no, and not only the, the price when buying them. No, the job of cooking requires specific tools, utensils, and equipment in the kitchen. No, each piece Ha, has been um, designed to accomplish a certain job or a specific job in the kitchen. Bawat kasangkapan sa kusina, meron niyang panggagamitan. Dapat ginagamit natin ito kung depende dun sa ating niluluto. Ayan, dapat alam natin kung paano ito gamitin. And the tools, utensils, and equipment are made of different uh, materials and each having certain advantages and disadvantages. Yung mga kasangkapan sa kusina, meron yung mga pakinaba. Ay, depende kung ano yung pagkain na lulutuin natin. Ayan. Um, we have cooking utensil list that every kitchen needs. Ayan, the first one, busters. And busters are handy for returning some of the meat or poultry juices from the pan back to the food. And busting brushes can be used for the same purpose. But they are also convenient for buttering the top of breads and baked goods after they come out of the oven. Ayan, magandang gamitin yung buster, lalong-lalo na kapag kayo ay nagbe-bake. No? Yung nabake yung um, product, no? yung nag-bake yung tinapay, maaari nyo siyang lagyan ng oil or cream or butter no, gamit yung buster. Alright? Another example, kapag nag-iihaw pa, like for example, sa barbecue, gusto mong lagyan ng sauce or oil, pwedeng-pwede mong gamitin yung buster. Alright? That's the main purpose of buster. Ayan. The second one, Cans and bottles opener. Cans and bottles opener are a kitchen utensil that's used to enable bottles and cans to be easily opened with leverage. Ayan, kung gusto mong buksan yung takip ng bote o ng dilata, maaari mong gamitin niyang um, can or bottle opener. At sa ganun, hindi tayo mahirapan. Nakapaka-useful niyan. Alright? Next. Colanders, also called a vegetable strainer, are essential for various tasks, from cleaning vegetables to straining pasta or thin contents. And colanders it is a kitchen utensil used to strain foods such as pasta, all right, or to rinse vegetables. And it is sometimes also called a pasta strainer. The main purpose of colander is to separate liquids and solids. Ayan. Kung magkita niya, meron siyang maliliit na butas. And that's the main purpose of colander. Next, cutting board. Cutting board, a wooden or plastic board where meats and vegetables can be cut. Um, cutting board um, is a wooden or plastic device used as a flat surface on which foods are cut. Ayan, dito mo hihiwain yung mga karne, mga isda, mga vegetables, 
At mga ano pa mang gusto mong hiwain dyan. Ayan, napaka-useful niyan. No? Next. Dredger. Dredger used to shake flour, salt, and pepper on meat, poultry, and fish. Dredger. It is a small container with small perforated holes that's used to hold flour, herbs, and other similar ingredients. No? that are sprinkled on foods that are being prepared. Ayan. Kung makikita nyo, yung dredger, no, meron siyang mga butas. Pwede mong lagyan ito ng bechin, asin, paminta, at kahit ano pa man. Nang sa ganon, may, may sprinkle mo siya doon sa pagkain na gusto mong lagyan. Ayan. Next. Double boiler. Double boiler use when temperatures must be kept below boiling. Ayan, such as for egg, sauces, puddings, and to keep foods warm without overcooking. Ayan, double boiler is it's used for a variety of cooking tasks. No, and they are commonly used in bakeries and cafes for melting and cooking delicate foods. Ayan, kung makikita nyo, ang dalawa yan na magkapatong. Yung nasa taas guys, dito mo ilalagay yung pagkain na gusto mong lutuin or um, lusawin. Yung nasa ibaba, yun yung lagayan ng tubig nang sa ganon mag-melt yung or maluto yung pagkain dun sa ibabaw. Ayan, that's the main purpose of double boiler. Okay, next. Emery boards or sharpening steel used to sharpen long knives. Ayan. It is a kitchen tool used to continually keep edges of knife blades straight to maintain a sharp edge after each use. Ayan, ginagamit ito pang hasa ng kutsilyo para mapanatili yung pagiging matalim niya. Alright? Next. Ayan, flipper used for turning hamburgers and other food items. Um, flipper is a tool used for flipping food in a frying pan or on a griddle. They consist of a long handle with a completely flat shovel at the end. Ayan, kung makikita nyo, no? The shovel part can be a somewhat um, elongated square or very long and rectangular. Kaya kung makikita nyo, no? Ayan, ginagamit ito kapag nagpiprito tayo ng isda, ng karne, ng itlog, at marami pang iba. Ayan, kasi kung makikita nyo, flat siya, madali siyang gamitin. Ayan, ginagamit din yan sa pag-flip ng hamburgers. Ayan. That's the main purpose of flipper. Next. Funnel. Funnel used to fill jars made of various sizes of stainless steel, aluminum, or of plastic. Funnel is a kitchen utensil that's used to pour liquids no, and small green ingredients from one source into another. As you can see, a funnel is a tube or pipe that's wide at the top and narrow at the bottom. And it's also used for guiding liquid or powder into a small opening. Ayan, napaka-useful ng funnel. Bakit? Kasi kung gusto mong i-transfer yung liquid or powder doon sa um, sa ibang laga yan, lalong-lalo na kapag maliit yung opening doon, maaari mong gamitin yung panel. Nang sa ganun, i-transfer mo yung liquid or powder na gusto mong i-transfer. Okay, mapapadali, mapapadali yung trabaho mo. Alright? Next. Garlic press. Garlic press is a kitchen tool which is specifically designed for the purpose of pulping garlic for cooking. Ayan, garlic press is also known as garlic crusher. Garlic crusher is uh, it's a kitchen utensil used to crush garlic cloves efficiently by forcing them through a grid of small holes. And kung makikita nyo, ipipress mo lang siya. Kung gusto mong durugin or pitpitin yung garlic, pwedeng pwede mong gamitin niya. Napaka-useful. Alright, next. Grater. Grater used to grate, shred, slice, and separate foods 
such as carrots, cabbage, and cheese. Ayan. Breeder is a kitchen utensil used to breed uh, foods into fine pieces. Ayan. Katulad halimbawa, yung cheese, yung carrots, no, yung cabbage. Gusto mong i-grade yan? Pwede, pwede. Ayan. Next. Handy poultry and roasting tools. Make it easier to lift a half roasted turkey from the roaster to the serving cutter without it falling apart. Ayan. Roasting tool is used to grill foods you want to eat. Ayan. Kung gusto natin mag-ihaw no, ng mga pagkain, ito yung pwedeng-pwede natin gamitin. Ayan. Kung makikita nyo yung handy poultry, yun yung ginagamit natin para um, i-leave yung pagkain at um, i-serve natin ito no, sa ibang lagayan. Maaari natin gamitin yan para hindi tayo mahirapan. Ayan. Next. Kitchen knives, often referred to as cooks or chef's tools. Knives are a mask for, to for all types of kitchen tasks from peeling an onion and slicing carrots to carving arrows or turkey. And kitchen knives are among the most basic and most important tools every home cook should own. And kitchen knives are very important when it comes in cooking because you cannot cut the foods that you want to cut, no? Without kitchen knife. Ayan, napaka-important yan. Kasi ito yung pinaka-importante pagdating sa pagluluto. Ayan. Next, kitchen shears. They are practical for opening food packages, cutting teeth, or string to package foods or simply to remove labels or tags from items. And kitchen shears are specifically made for food preparation. And ginagamit natin yung shear, no? kapag gusto natin i-open yung plastic or yung package, no? Nang sa ganon, makuha natin yung laman noon para hindi tayo mahirapin sa pagpubukas, gagamitin natin yung gunting or yung shear. Ayan. Next, measuring cups and measuring spoons. Measuring tools are among the most important items found in the kitchen. Ayan. Since consistently good cooking depends upon accurate measurements. And measuring cups and measuring spoons are used to measure an amount of an ingredient, no, either liquid or dry when cooking. They are often made of plastic, metal, and other materials. Ayan, they are also available in many sizes. Ayan, ginagamit natin yung measuring cups and measuring spoons kapag gusto natin um, lagyan ng liquid or powder yung pagkain. Kasi kung makikita nyo yan, yung measuring cups and measuring spoons, may, meron yung kanya-kanyang sukat. No? Para ma-measure natin kung gaano kadami o kakunti yung ilalagay natin liquid or powder doon sa pagkain na iluluto natin. Alright? Next. Pasta spoon or server. is used to transfer a little or much cooked pasta a waiting plate without mess. Ayan. Pasta spoon or server have a small hole in the center. Ayan. To drain the water as the pasta or noodles are lifted out. Ayan. The, this tool is also known as spaghetti server or spaghetti serving spoon. Ayan. Napaka-useful din yan, no? Kadalasan ito yung ginagamit kapag nagsiserve tayo ng spaghetti noodles, ng pansit, no? Napaka-useful niya. Next. Potato masher. Ayan. Use for mashing cooked potatoes, turnips, carrots, or other soft cooked vegetables. Ayan. Potato masher is also known as crusher. And it is used to mash soft foods, no? For such dishes like mashed potatoes, um, applesauce, and refried beans. 
ayan, imamash lang natin siya, dudurugin natin siya, pipitpitin natin siya. Alright? That's the use of potato masher. Alright, next. Rotary egg beater. Used for beating small amount of eggs or batter. Rotary egg beater is a handheld kitchen utensil with rotating blades for beating, whipping, or mixing. And an example of rotary egg beater is what someone would use to whip heavy cream into whipped cream. Ayan. Ito yung ginagamit natin para panghalo ng um, egg, ng cream, ng butter, no? At marami pang iba. And that's the main purpose of rotary egg beater. Alright? Next, guys. Scraper. A rubber or silicon tools to blend or scrape the food from the bowl. Metal, silicon, or plastic egg turners or flippers. A scraper is a kitchen utensil with a handle and um, blade. Ayan, kung magkikita nyo. No? It, it is used to scrape, no? to cut, and section the ingredients when working in dough. Ayan. That's the main purpose of a scraper. Ayan. Next. Seafood serving tools. Make the task of cleaning seafood and removing the shell much easier. Napakadali. For cooking seafood, utensils will vary depending on what you are cooking. And seafood serving tools are used in preparing different kinds of seafood. No? And compose a different types of tools with different uses. And seafood serving tools are the ones used in order to experience more enjoyable and more convenient way of eating seafood. Such as oyster, um, shrimps, crabs, and many more. Ayan, napaka-useful ng seafood serving tools. Ito yung gagamitin natin para na-enjoy natin yung pagkain sa mga seafood. And Ito yung pangtanggal sa mga shelf nila para mabilis natin siyang or madali natin siyang makain. Ayan, meron siyang iba't ibang klase ng kagamitan. Ayan, depende dun sa kakainin natin. Alright? Next. Serving spoons. A wooden seal consisting of a small, shallow bowl on a handle. Used in preparing, serving, or eating food. Serving spoons are kitchen utensil with a long handle and used for serving soup, broth, and sauce. And ginagamit natin ito kapag magsiserve tayo ng pagkain. Yung kutsara, kapag nagamit na natin yon, hindi na natin siya pwedeng um, pangkuha dun sa pagkain kasi may tendency na masira, masira yung pagkain na yon. Alright, next. Enables you to more easily grab and transfer larger food items, poultry, or meat portions to a serving butter, to a deep fryer, or to a plate. Ayan. It is a kitchen utensil used to grip or lift foods instead of holding them directly with hands. Ayan. The main purpose of serving tongue is to um, grasp or hold the foods when it is hot. No? Kapag mainit yung pagkain, pwedeng pwede natin gamitin to para hindi tayo mapasok. Alright, that's the main purpose of serving tongue. Next. Next, soup ladle is used for serving soup but can also be used for gravy dessert sauces, or other foods. As you can see, ladle is a large long-handled spoon with a cup-shaped bowl used for um, serving also soup, broth, and sauces. Ayan, parang katulad siya dun sa spoon server. And the main purpose of soup ladder, no, it's also used to transfer liquids from one container to another. And ginagamit natin to para pag-serve na ang mga sabaw, no? Maga or pagkain. Um, kadalasan din itong ginagamit kapag 
nagluluto tayo or nagsiserve tayo ng um, sopas, um, lugaw, something like that. Alright? Next. Paring knife, use to core, peel, and section fruits and vegetables. Bits are short, concave with hollow ground. And the main purpose of paring knife, no? Paring knife is a small kitchen knife used mainly for peeling fruits and vegetables. Kung makikita yung um, paring knife, napakalit lang niya. Um, para lang talaga siya sa pagbabalat ng mga um, yung malilit na vegetables, malilit na prutas. Ayan, napaka-useful niya. Next. The spoons, solid, slanted, or perforated. Ayan, the spoon is a kitchen utensil that we usually use every time we eat. Ito yung kadalasan nating ginagamit kapag kumakain tayo. Ayan, yung magigitan nyo, no? Next. Temperature scales, ayan, used to measure heat intensity. The main purpose of temperature scale, temperature scale, it is a kitchen device used to measure the weight of ingredients and other food. Ayan, it is essential to use temperature scale when cooking meat or poultry to prevent undercooking and consequently to prevent foodborne illness. Ayan, min, um, minimeasure niya yung kung gaano kabigat o kung gaano yung isang pagkain. At um, iniiwasan niya na ma-undercook yung pagkain at para hindi masira ito. Alright, that's the main purpose of temperature scale. Alright, next. Next, two-pointed fork used to hold meats while slicing and to turn solid pieces of meat while browning or cooking. Ayan, two-pointed fork is usually made of metal where you can use to spear foods either to hold them with a knife no? or to cut them with a knife. Ayan. Yan yung ginagamit natin kung gusto natin i-turn or i-lift yung pagkain kapag niluluto natin siya. Pwede natin pwede din natin gamitin yung two-pointed fork habang hawakan yung meat habang inihiwa. That's the main purpose of two-pointed fork. Alright? Next. Next, vegetable peeler. Just to scrape vegetables such as carrots and potatoes and to peel fruits. Ayan, vegetable peeler is a kitchen utensil with a blade attached to a handle. Ayan, used for removing the outer layer or the skin of some vegetables such as carrots, cucumber, um, broccoli, no? and fruits such as apples and pears. Ayan, ito yung pambalat ng mga prutas. No? Napapabilis kasi yung pambalat natin kapag ito yung gamit natin. Ayan. Next. Alright, next. Wooden spoons. Kitchen essentials because of their usefulness for use for creaming, stirring, and mixing. Ayan. Wooden spoons are generally referred for cooking because of their versatility. Ayan. Some cook um, prefer to use wooden spoon when preparing rice cook because they do not transfer heat as much as wood um, metal spoon. Ayan. Napaka-useful nito. Kasi mas magandang gamitin to kapag nagluluto tayo. No? Hindi nagtatransfer yung heat dito, yung init. Okay? Kaya maganda siyang gamitin. And pwede, pwede siyang gamitin sa pagluluto, sa paghahalo, no? Ang ganda ibang klase ng pagkain. Ayan. And that's all for today, guys. No? And thank you for listening. I hope you have learned a lot. No? At uh, maasa ko na matututunan nyo kung paano yung tamang paggamit sa bawat kasangkapan sa kusina. Ayan. God bless and good day guys.